Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to the last, last, last episode of Morrowind. What's happening? <laughs> uh, so when we ended Morrowind the first time, it was like a big deal. How's this? It's good. When we, when, he, when we ended Morrowind the first time, it was a big deal because like, wow, we fucking beat Morrowind. That's awesome. That's cool of me, you know? Um, but like there was always this like thing of like, hey, it doesn't matter that much because we are going to come back and do the DLC. And well, now we did that DLC. And so when we ended the first DLC, it wasn't that big of a deal. Because it was like, well, whatever, you know. We've now seen all of uh, Morrowind and its province, Solstheim. And Morrowind is ending this very episode. Which I'm very excited about. Um, I'm a little sick, so you might have to pardon my voice. Um... I feel like I say I'm sick a lot during recordings, but like part of it is just because I do other things, you know, with my day, in my life. And so like being sick is like if I'm bored, I may as well, you know, record because I'm sick and I don't have anything else to do because I can't go work out and I can't like, I shouldn't be cooking. Or it's like, hey, I'm sick and ordinarily I would be taking time off to, you know, rest and recover, but you know, this has to come out. And it's a little bit of both. Um, I don't have, like, too much that I need to do right now. And, like, I'm done with, I think, all the chores right now. Um, I could just, you know, spend some time working on the house, but... I mean, I'm sick. It's only so much... Only so good it could look. Hell yeah. Uh, I'm getting dragged off the path because I can't get over this mountain. I could hover, I guess, but... So yeah, um, I have one more idea of what I could do with uh, Glena Pitchblend here, and then... I'm kind of out of things to do with this character. Because, like, I did all the stuff for House Raderin, and you could only really pick one great house without using glitches. Um, I can't go work for the Thieves' Guild because I killed them. I killed members of the Thieves' Guild to further the Fighters' Guild. I don't really have enough ability to do the Mages' Guild. I could brute force it, but, like, you know... It's been long derided how in Skyrim the thing that you have to do to get led into the Mage's Call is just perform one spell. And Skyrim is, I think, the only game where you come with a spell no matter what always. In the other games, I think you have to tag Destruction to get a defensive spell or Restoration to get a healing spell, but... I digress. So yeah, this is basically it for this character. I could run around and do some more like miscellaneous quests. But like I do like living here on Morrowind, but I'm not going to get another cool like radical piece of armor or anything that could like fit into my build because I'm already wearing most of the best stuff in the game. Um, long time Morrowind players will of course remember the term Altitus, but it's the uh, semi-derisive, semi-joking term about people who are constantly restarting Morrowind to have a new interesting character, and I am already thinking about my next character, <laughs> to be perfectly honest with you. Um... But yeah, there's only one thing that I can even think of to do with Galena Pitchblend here, and like, 
when that's done, like, the character will be done, you know? But yeah, I've had an excellent time recording Morrowind. It is... It's kind of hard to say it's, like, one of my favorite games, because, yes, it's a very good game, but the thing is... Saying something's my favorite game... <laughs> wow, that's silly. I kind of don't want to include more than one game in a franchise on my best game ever list. Because, like, otherwise the list might all be Metal Gear games. <laughs> um, like, I don't know if I would record, uh, record, include both Metal Gear Solid 3 and Metal Gear Rising Revengeance on there. Because, like, those games are very different, but I just don't know how fair that is. But point of order, like, I can definitely at least count. Can I? No. I'll stay dehelmeted. Put this on for now. Can I ditch anything? Oh, yeah. I'm not really using these, am I? Five pounds of soul gems. He'll appreciate it, I'm sure. All right. Time to start the main quest, everyone. I'm going to go ahead and wait until it hits seven exact. All right. It's time. Death of the Horkers, yada yada yada. I feared as much. Even those creatures could not have caused so much carnage. This is a bad sign, Glenn and Pitchplin. I fear we have not seen the worst. Take this. From what I hear the Grawl, it, it'll be a valuable aid. Perhaps it'll keep you safe during the troubled times. We must speak about the Blood Moon Prophecy. It is time we spoke of it. The legend tells of a time that occurs once in each era when a demon god will walk the land in the company of his hounds, creatures of terrible might. He's the hunter, and his coming is preceded by three signs. A tribunal, in fact. I had prayed I had misread the signs, misunderstood the prophecy, but I'm sh sure it is not so. The first of the three signs is the fire from the Eye of Glass on Lake Fjalding. I had hoped it was magic of the Draugr Lord. Then the tide of woe. Our shores are lined with the corpses of horkers, dead for a reason we can't fathom. And then the blood moon, when the young moon itself runs red with the blood of the hunter's prey. Look to the skies, blood skull. It's upon us. Now we wait for the hunter's game. According to legend, it varies error to error. Our grandfather's grandfathers tell of a time when the hunter and his hounds preyed upon entire tribes of men. Taken to the hunting grounds, the men were hunted by the hounds. The ones that died were the lucky. The survivors faced the hunter himself. In another era, the hunter took only a single man as his prey. So the prey can last through the blood moon. The hunter, if the prey can last, the hunter returns to his demon realm for another era. We have to wait the hunter's plan. Little to be done until he lets it be known to us. It will not be long. I fear for our people, Bloodskull. There's little I can do to protect them in these times. I have only to pray to the Allmaker that he watches over us and keeps us from the hunter's grasp. The restock is complete. Praise be to the Allmaker. All right. I gotta. I gotta do a, a spell of big, big strength. This strength. How much is that? Not enough. Damn. Because I don't want to throw that away. That one's kind of cool. <laughs> you guys want those? I'll just leave them there. How about that? It's kind of weird to anyone else that like... Oh, I could throw my... Well, I'll keep the paralysis on me. I was just thinking about how weird it is that, like, you can completely annihilate the game's, like, economy. Oh, man. Being attacked by werewolves. Where could this lead? Soul's time. More tri Glacier entry. Uh, hi. You have arrived. The others have been here 
for days now, and you are the last. It is time for my hunt, and you are to take part. I have chosen only the most worthy to take part in the hunt. Carius of the Imperials, Heartfang of the Skull, the Frost Giant Karstak, and you. Stop. You have proven yourself a worthy hunter, and so you have been given this honor. You and the others are to find your way to my hunting grounds. Take great care, as only one of you will earn the glory of facing the hunter himself in battle while the blood moon lights the sky. The others have gone ahead, so only you remain to begin. Beware, mortal. My hounds are about, and they hunger for blood. Perhaps I will see you soon. Now go. Oh yeah. Nervar rising just peeking my audio. Alright, turn that down. I love you, Jeremy Soul, but I gotta I gotta cut you off here. Right. There we go. I like how you can see the, um, let me, can I, oops. Okay. Okay. Galena Pitchman, it's you. I'm, uh, I'm sorry, you two have been brought to play in this nefarious game. Since the werewolves captured me at the fort, I've been held here by the demon Hercene. Weird that they call him da demon. They usually are pretty consistent with calling them Daedra and Adra. And like, gods is kind of generic, but like, demon... Demon really evokes Christianity to me, you know? Uh, others join me. One of the Nords, Nords named Hartfang and a beast named Karstag. The only hope for escapes is to find the way through the maze. So the demons told me where to fight our way through. Hunted by werewolves, the demon calls his hounds. I'm weak. I've been here too long. Maybe we can find our way. Let's go together. I'm glad for the companionship. I'll use my cool enchanted sword. Alright, now that I have seen combat, let me turn my audio back down. Oh, damn it. Can I... Can I have some sip? Hell yeah. Ooh, the light is eerie in here. Again, reuse of assets from the Daedra's, uh, Daedra shrines, but... We're, we're in a Daedra location here anyway, so... Let me... Heal myself up here. So I watched the new Dune recently. It feels like, God, like what, years ago that I talked about watching Dune and how it relates to Morrowind? Well, he's dead. I mean, it's probably fine. Because you can decide to just ice him. Come on. Well, that's irritating. Do I have a stamina in here? Fortify speed. Cure power paralysis. A lot of brandies. Well, 
Anyway. Sorry you died, I guess. I guess you must be the guy. Yeah, it can be kind of dangerous to try fighting without, like... Oh, man, this is a slaughterhouse in here. I'll tell you that for free. I learned recently, I don't know how long I've been playing this game, and I didn't know this, but, like, I learned recently that... Werewolf Ice Statue. Uh... Hmm. Weird. Anyway, recently learned that there's a thing, uh, a, a like hidden sub mechanic, where the the fullness of your stamina bar will affect your accuracy, and it can like dramatically like ch alter it. All right. I paused the recording so I could just regenerate some stamina. Oops, still snaking there, pardon me. Well, that looks nice and ominous. It would be... Only one... A beast or one with a key may pass through the gate. Beast key, you say. Don't tell me it's on one of these chuckle hawks. All right, maybe it was on this guy and I just missed it. Imperial Templar Knight Cuirass. That thing's cool. What am I wearing? Nordic Mail, which is 30. This is 30. Here, I'll carry on your memory and stuff. And also leave you nude. I'm not actually sorry about that. Alright, so... I don't have a, a left pauldron, do I? Right pauldron. Yeah. Cool. One moment. Hey, I just missed this chest, which contains this key kind of scared me. It's a decently impressive effect. Ooh, there's a bunch of you. Oh, crap. Well, that ain't good. Quick save that again. Wow, that was a long save. Considering I've got like a PC with like a million billion points in it. I almost always use power attacks now. So yeah, they, they explicitly mentioned on the wiki that this is probably the hardest quest in the game in terms of just how much... Like, how many hit points you just have to deplete, you know? Uh-oh. Who oh boy. I'm gonna try to avoid tapping into my uh, supply yet. That was close. <laughs> that was a, uh... Wow. This thing's just out? Damn. I'm ready for you. Right. Much better. It's 
So yeah, they just like came out and said like, hey, this is the hardest quest in the game in terms of just how many enemies you're going through, how many hit points you're gonna have to deplete. Like it's not an e it's not an easy task. You almost never get the opportunity to rest. Oh, because I've got that thing. All of them are waking up. Alright, whenever I'm over encumbered, I'm taking the opportunity to, like, just get my health back. Get my stamina back. Cool. It's you, Galena Pitchblend. How'd you get to this place? We have little time, I fear. The Frost Giant Karstak has gone ahead. I fear he may win the battle before me. Maybe we can fight through this place. Uh, let us go together. Hey, man. Have I talked about how he looks kind of like ancient, like, Nordic Jack Black? Alright. I promise to, like, help you fight this time. Oh, yeah. I got that ectoplasm on me still. Okay. I'm very glad that nobody snuck up on me there. Because I did not check my corners here. The cursed champion falls. You know, I'm very happy Wayne June is back in Darkest Dungeon 2, even though it, like, doesn't really make sense. I mean, I know it's just a guy who happens to have the exact same voice. But. Because, you know, it's not that the ancestor's back. It's that Wayne June is back. That's what they really care about. Heart Fang. Aren't you Heart Fang? Are you talking about yourself in the third person? Because that's a... Uh, cringe, bro. I do say... Like, one of the things about Morrowind is that you you, you have a lot of, of gusto and a lot of you have a very easy time if you want to play a mage, you know? Because cause mages in Morrowind, as we've discussed, get stupid broken. And, like, this has been one of the hardest uh, playthroughs of Morrowind I've ever done already. Because this is as far as we go. I have the key to reach the next stage, and only I shall continue. This hunt is for Heartfang and Heartfang alone. Many generations I've lived. Her scenes ring on my... You have the ring! This hunt is my birthright. I shall face the hunter. Carry the glory of the hunt. See the power I was born to wield. You now face the form he was born to wear. The Hersing's ring disappears from its finger and has found a new owner. He had it. You're a son of a bitch. Well. Oh, crap. I didn't get those... Well, that's okay, because I can just loot fresh ones off of him. That's fine. The Nordic Silver Battle Axe. Eh, it's not great. Hey, I can have a left pauldron again, too. So, did I just get the... Because it would make sense if it flew to somebody else random, but... It's her scene's ring, right? It's not like Ring of Hercene. I don't see it in here, but that's okay. He totally, he totally juked me. He totally pulled a sneaky on me. Okay, cool. God, I'm taking a pounding here. Hold on. I want to make sure that I'm hitting this. I guess we're doing like another tribunal thing of like there's three enemies. Because, you know. That's out. It'd be great if they dropped, like, health potions. Cause 
Because, like, I came in here with as full health as I could really get. Can I pop this again? I can. Good. Alright, I took another one of those pause breaks to try and... Hmm. Well. Oh, I can use another couple of these. Looks like it takes two every pop. Right, yeah, that happens. Can I get more of these out of here? Oh, Sue Jama, perfect. Wow, that's a big boost of health. Or uh, strength, I mean. God, it is dark. So yeah, saw the new Dune. I cannot stop thinking about the um. <laughs> I can't stop thinking about those Gurney Halleck bagpipes. Like the movie's really good, and like they might even go new ways with it that weren't in the books. And like I would honestly be happy with that because I feel like the Dune books got really stupid. Like I feel like the Dune books get stupid before what's his face dies, Frank Herbert. I'm going to be disappointed every time. I don't know why I keep checking. A right, little top off. Oh, those are just two straight misses in a row. Oh, boy. All right. And I'm over encumbered. All right, I didn't know they like, sit and wait. Because, like, I, I physically cannot, like, even rest. Like, I think if I hit rest, it... Yeah. That happens no matter where you are. Oh, Cyrodiilic Brandy doesn't do that, huh? What shame. No, it doesn't do that either, huh? Hmm. How about I drop 11 pounds of soul gems? I'm not going to need them. Why am I carrying six pounds of bowl? I mean, I say pounds, but I know that there aren't pounds. There goes that. I'll hold on to that, you know? Why not? Hmm. Oh, I can dump this. I'll drink some grief. Didn't notice that I had that, unfortunately. But that's fine. Oh, who's it gonna be? Alright. Cool. Anyway, yeah, like, I would love to talk more about Dune, but, like, literally all I can think of is how awesome the bagpipes are. I'm like, you wouldn't think that there would be Dune, like, bagpipes, but there are. Like, besides the Dropkick Murphys, who barely count, when was the last time you can even think of somebody making a, like, new composition or a new song on bagpipes, of all things? Wow. This place is cool. Oh, this is going to be... Is that the man? Yep. Alright, I've entered what appears to be the center of Mortrag Glacier. It in, in it is the frost giant Karstag. The final participant of Hercene's hunt. Okay. Wow. He didn't give a shit. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I never remember. Grief. That's what I want. 
This is like a duel duel. Did he poison me? Oh, he's reflecting it on me. Wow. Frost Giant Karstag is dead. I'm now the only one that made it to the final stage of Hercene's Hunt. Wow. Do I have my... I mean, I guess I really don't have my... Oh, you probably fight different boss fights. To face me in all my glory would be less than sporting. Yeah, aren't you like an elder god? I don't think you could I think you would just kill me in one hit, right? The one you have chosen. We have little time. The blood moon sinks low in the sky. Prepare yourself, mortal. For now you are the hunted. Capital H hunted. Whoa. Hunter's Amulet of Speed. Oh, yeah, I guess that was the final boss, by the way. <laughs> the thing about after Dagoth Ur, like, every boss... Dagoth Ur can't be killed proper, and so every boss after him is, like, kind of a letdown. And, like, with Almalexia, she just has a billion hit points, and, like... Okay, this is going on right now. Cool. So... Hunter, Hunter. Should be right here, right? These are alphabetical, are they not? Unless I was just given something else. Wow. Yeah, I guess that's the final boss then, huh? It looked kind of like a crown, so I should look for that, huh? Oh, Hercene's ring. Yes. Whoa. <laughs> oh! Gnarly. So I guess you get to, if you do the DLC like this, you get to be able to turn into a werewolf anyway. Wow, you are fast. And I have no magic. I can't do that as a werewolf. Can I wait? Wow, you are fast as a werewolf. Cannot rest in werewolf form. How long do you spend as a werewolf? Oh. What's happening? Okay, cool. Nah, you know what? I can leave that off. I'll put on my boots, my pants. Put that on. I'll leave it off. So 
So, oh, here it is. Hunter Amulet of Speed. Oh, it must just be like a constant thing. Is that the case? Let me check here. Because I was looking for like a spell thing. Because now, you know, I know. Yeah, Fortify Attribute. So I just have that much more speed. Wow. Look at look at my stats. The only thing that the, the only things that are below a hundred are talking things. Magic thing. Wow. Man, when you leave, they fucking know, huh? Oh man. How much of the budget was this, I wonder? Like I know that these games aren't exactly cheap to develop, which is why now they only come out after, like, every five years, maybe. But, like, how much is this type of cutscenery worth? This be. The blood moon falls and the prey still lives. You have defeated my aspect, but I will return, mortal. The blood moon will rise again, and my hounds will the lands. Let this world enjoy yep, we know. Respite, for here seen will hunt again. Oh, we're here. Okay, let me turn the audio down because uh, that's very loud. We can do a little more. Wow. All right. Da, 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 da. Had the Ring of Hercene. S says to have had it for many generations. Appeared in my inventory. And the key. Mortar Glacier. Cursed Dog. I'm a, I'm a worthy hunter. And he's going to kill me. Chosen Speed is a hunter's greatest, greatest asset. I defeated the aspect of Speed. She tried to leave it. Uh, the thing collapsed. Wow. Cool. You know, one thing that I do really like about um, Skyrim is that when the main quest line ends, something cool happens, you know? Like, all, like yes, you get the, the cool speech with Alduin, but, like, every dragon stands around you and remains in first person. Uh, and, and you just, like, they all, like, salute you, and they're like, hey, look, you're cool. We're still going to fight you because that's how we do things, but you're cool. You know, we're not going to fuck with that. Killed Alduin. But yeah, that's another DLC in the bag. And that's the last real challenge on uh, Galena Pitchblend here. Because, like, I'm just trying to think, like... There's not even that much else in the game that can challenge me now. Um, her scene is very specific about mentioning that, it, that it's his aspect. Because every other boss fight has been... You know, a god that has been bullshitting their, their divinity. Because uh, they are all Dunmer who cheated their divinity. Or Chimer, I guess. But they cheated their divinity. Oh, yeah. I got a level two. Maybe eventually I can even get it. Can I use this, bro? Point of order. They weren't real gods. They're false gods. And they, they cheat their divinity by using the, the Heart of Lorcan. Which isn't like, you know, real divinity. And so the Daedra is the first time that we've actually been able to tussle with real divinity and not bullshit divinity. Because you can kill Vivek, and he's tough, but... You know, he's only faking it with a heart. Yes. 47. Cool. Uh, and Dagothur is also cheating with the heart, but in a different way. And then Almalexia is uh, cheating with the heart with the same way as Vivek is. And, like, you know, those are all fine, but, like, I've never been to this one square of the island. I guess I'm going to rectify that now, but I just noticed that. That's weird. But, yeah, there's this in the. Uh, The channel itself is defunct, but 
you can still watch all the streams. But in the now defunct Super Best Friends play stream of Dark Souls 3, featuring Wooly Versus and Pat Stares at. I mean, it's weird to say featuring because they were on there first. Um, I know it seems like I talk about this dead channel a lot, but I'm really just citing my sources. Because, like, you know, this kind of, like, irrational phobia against plagiarism. Whatever. I'm talking about my, my own lore too much here. Point of order. Wooly makes this excellent point about how in Dark Souls, every single dragon has had some sort of Johns. If you don't know what Johns are, Johns are what you say before a match in a fighting game or something like that. To just say, hey, the match doesn't count, you know? And, you know, sometimes it's like, hey, you know, I hurt my hand, so I'm not going to be able to play as well. But sometimes it's like, oh, I'm, I'm hungry, so I, I'm not going to fight as good. And, you know, you didn't win. Salty Johns are when you say after a match. It's like, well, it didn't count because I was like, whatever. I think that's it, at least. That's how me and my friends use it, so. Maybe we've been using it incorrectly, but who knows? Anyway, Wooly makes a joke about having a comprehensive list of Dragon Johns. Because every dragon you fight and kill in Dark Souls has some bullshit going on about it. Like, Seetha Scalus is not properly immortal. Uh, Calamite, Dragon of Calamity, is uh, cursed by the Abyss. And initially, we didn't know that. But later, we saw a different Abyss Cursed Dragon. We know that Calamite is much the same. Oh, God, my low stamina. Is somebody punching me? Oh, for the love of God. I mean, ugh. Will I, guys? Will I really die where I stand? Jeez, oh, Pete. Anyway, Calamite, Dragon of the Abyss, is also young, uh, so the battle doesn't count for that reason. And then in 2, the ancient dragon isn't actually a real dragon. It's a bunch of, like, dragon... It's a bunch of, like, giants in a dragon suit or something like that. I forget my DS2 lore, but he's, like, bullshitted. And in the DLC, the dragon Sin has a huge spear sticking out of his chest. And the only reason that you're, like, able to even get in on Sin is because somebody put that spear there and made it easy for you. And then in 3, you don't fight a real dragon, you fight a wyvern. Um, the storm drake you fight is also not real. I forget what his stuff is, I think he's just not like a pure blood dragon. And in the DLC, Medir is, again, abyss cursed. Oh yeah, should I like wait 24 hours? And then all of the other things that you fight are you know, fake, not real dragons called drakes that are a genetic offshoot. They're like a house cat compared to a tiger, apparently. Anyway, my point is, is that every single dragon is like, you know, not a real dragon and they're all getting away with like, oh, you didn't win. You know, you, you, you couldn't really kill like a, a real dragon, you know, like a real super dragon. Cause like those guys are for real. You couldn't kill them. You couldn't kill them cause they're for real. And, like, every single dragon fight in Souls has some sort of John, some sort of caveat associated with it. Where is that dude? I've forgotten his name. But yeah, every single dragon fight has some caveat with it. And that's how I feel about all any time you fight a god in Elder Scrolls. It's like, no, you didn't really kill a Daedra. You can't, you can't kill a Daedra. Nobody's that cool, you know? You just killed their aspect, you know? It doesn't count. And, like, I understand that you, you know, might want to have those things in place because of the... Like, the lore might get completely ruined if, you know, randos with a enough luck and, and s enough luck can just kill someone. You seem like very good what can I do for you, Factor? Alright, I just stepped out of town to wait for a couple of days. Anywho, yeah, my point is, like, they probably want to write stuff into the lore to 
make it so like you know some guy who's crazy high on skooma can't just kill a bunch of gods here we go it's hardly an assignment but i have one thing to ask of you there's the matter of your state that needs to be settled the plans for it have been on the table for a while carnius never got around to doing anything it's clear he didn't have intention of staying but it's your choice i put aldum berendis in charge of the construction team find him and have him explain the situation to you i will thank you aldum well you're he the estate well it's complicated it is for me so i've done as much as i can to make it easy there's pot three locations you need to choose one a set of torches take me to the torch you want to build at let me say the word let me know when you want to get started i'll follow you let me see here where are these then here's one i mean i like this it's like centralized follow me i don't really want to look at the other ones just because like you know player housing I, th I think i'm finished on my my like thread about is this where you want to build okay you really sure don't want you to have second thoughts later on are you sure yeah what the factor wants the factor gets work will start soon on this but take a few days to see it completed i'd say at least five provided we're left alone to work if you keep coming back it may slow us down so all right i guess i'll go wait out here for a week Um, all right, now let me see. I'm out of the city limits. No. Yeah. Uh, go to hell. Oh, yeah, I got to kill you three times. Ugh. But yeah, anyway, that's the thing that always amuses me about, like, killing a guy in Elder Scrolls. Like, there's normally some sort of Johns associated with God Slaying, just to make sure, like, no, you didn't really win, it didn't count, you know? Construction of the estate should be done already? Wow. Several days. I thought you said five. To me, several, I guess several could be five. All right. Let's see it then. Hello there. State. Put a lot of work into it. I hope you like it. Factors of state. So housing in an RPG is always like one of the biggest things. And like, it's why they put like, I think 10 houses in Skyrim, I want to say. Because, like, RPG housing is always, like, if you really want to make sure a, a guy a guy knows that he's, I guess they, that they've done a real good job in a game, give him, a, give him real estate. Wow. Take a nap in my bed. Wow. I'll just overwrite this one, yeah. We did it, y'all. Oh. <sighs> Oh, God, you can see. Ignore that. So. Morrowind is done. Oh, you can see the other side, too. Morrowind is done. All right, fine. I'll leave it like that. Um, Galena Pitchblend's quest is over. We have really run out of things. When I started this LP, where was I at? When I started this LP, I had just finished this huge spike of videos. Uh, I had only just gotten enough, like, uh, hours of watch time to qualify for monetization in that way. 
But when I started this LP, I was hovering around 100 subscribers. And as I say this now, I'm almost at 200, which is interesting, you know. It's not really a huge jump for a lot of people, but the thing is I try to, you know, take pride in my accomplishments, even if they're a little small, because that's okay, you know. Accomplishments are just whatever you feel proud of, really. Because there's a lot of things where people are like, wow, don't you feel proud of that? And I'm like, I don't care. <laughs> you know, like they talk about like something I did in high school. It's like, whatever, man. <laughs> like if I, if I could have just skipped high school and gone on to, you know, something else. But I don't know. I, did, I had good times in high school. Tangent. Anyway. Um, but yeah, I'm a little subdued because I'm a little out of practice on recording and uh, I'm sick. But I... Uh, Despite my tone, I am very excited to be done with Morrowind. Not because I'm like happy to see it go, but um, at some point I do want to do like the back path. And I may even do another playthrough of Morrowind just because I want to. Um, it might be years from now. I do also intend to play through every Fallout game. I know that my playthrough of New Vegas has been on hiatus for about a year. But it's because New Vegas is a real pain in the butt to capture. Uh, but I want to play through every Fallout and Elder Scrolls game because I love those very much. Um, but yeah, like <laughs> I've almost doubled my subscriber count, my watch hours, my Morrowind playthrough has been very, very popular. I know I fell off with doing the challenges, but it's because editing those is a pain in the ass. And like, I'm doing well. I'm happy. Looking back at me at the very start of this LP of Morrowind. And me now is night and day. I don't, I think I must've started planning that L, this LP. I say that LP, but the one I'm in, like I planned it like as soon as the, the first LP I did a moral wind stopped like running. Uh, and like, damn, you know, I'm not really in that different of a place, but I feel different, you know, killing a bunch of gods will do that, I guess. But yeah, um, Thank you all for watching. Uh, I have done a bunch of Morrowind videos in case you came in on watching Blood Moon. Um, and I do a lot of analysis. In addition to doing the main quest line of Morrowind and the other DLC, I also did most, maybe all the Fighters Guild quests, and I did enough of the Redder and Guard quests to unlock the house there. So I have, I think, all three houses that you can get in like one playthrough without cheating. I mean, that's counting Caius's house as my own because you know fuck it he doesn't he he still pays the rent but he doesn't live there so it's mine um but yeah i did the red and guard of the fighters guild to give the main quest and because there's not much to talk about while you're just doing errands for the fighters guild or red and guard um i read all 36 lessons of Avec, and i do maybe want to read more of the morrowind books maybe all of them but there's quite a chunk of those so who knows um but yeah, wow. I've been Alfred. If you want to see more Morrowind, you know where to look. There's a huge, huge... Uh... Oh yeah, in addition to that playthrough that I did, the, the curse playthrough that fell apart, I also did a different playthrough where I just explored the island. Like I, I cheated to give myself a bunch of stuff and just I explored Morrowind just to see what was up with it. But if you want to see a bunch of other good LPs of mine, I play a bunch of boomer shooters i played quake uh recently and last year not quite last year but almost last year i played more uh Morrowind marathon those are both very good lps and for your personal information i've compiled them into an uh, a super playlist uh, among with some other things called alfred plays boomer shooters uh, i have a, a long-running show where i play roguelikes called friday night roguelikes included in that is drunkest dungeon where i get hammered and play darkest dungeon um this halloween i did a bunch of horror games to my wife i'm currently doing a playthrough of dead space one that i'm editing down really sharp which i think is cool um i played through the first two castlevania games and the first bloodstain game those are both really good i played through the original half-life um trying to see even what else i've done here that you might be interested in oh, yeah i played hylix that was a really good lp if you like weird rpgs and like 
you you dig the the weirdo like 36 lessons of Vivek style stuff Hylix is a game that is just like the 36 lessons of Vivek as a real video game our like last year like more than a year ago I played through Dishonored 1 and I played through Injustice Gods Among Us but yeah um I enjoy making videos which is why I do it and I'm very happy to have this staunch ironclad accomplishment where I beat Morrowind by using minimal hacking because I did have to hack a little bit because this game is buggy but I know that I could do it if the game worked properly it just doesn't <laughs> yeah I've been Alfred uh, Alfred Connor is my first two names and that's short for Alfredja Kontrobar um I, I had a really good time playing through all of Morrowind this might not be the last thing for Galena Pitchblend and it's definitely not going to be the last Morrowind thing because I can do at least one more new playthrough. I might just do another playthrough like this again. Um, I might just do like a playthrough that's like a sneak one and a mage one and maybe even a talk one, but who knows? Yeah, I have an Alfred. This has been Blood Moon. Elder Scrolls through Blood Moon and the end of all the Morrowind main quests. So everyone have a good day. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.